Hey, fellow explorers! Welcome to Explore Halloween! I'm reading you a cool and scary and fun story. I read one to you every night this month. That's right, 31 different scary stories just for you in the month of October, the Halloween month. So what story am I going to read you tonight? Well, let's find out. This is my good friend Hallie. She always brings the best, spookiest, scariest, and fun Halloween stories for us to read. Hallie, what story did you bring for us to read tonight? You know, she never tells me. She's very quiet. Even when she speaks, you can't even hear her. Well, she does bring the books though. Let's see what books she brought. <gasps> Samurai Scarecrow. Whoa, check it out. Samurais and a scarecrow. Samurai scarecrow, makes sense. What was that old scarecrow rhyme? Kashi asked her brother. Ooh, looks like anime, huh? I love Japanese anime, by the way. At night, when the moon is full, Samurai Scarecrow wakes to sing a creepy lullaby. Show me the birds no longer afraid, the feathered fools who won't flee. Find me the birds who think I'm decayed. I'll teach them to be scared of me. Ooh. Whoa, kind of spooky, isn't it? A spooky scarecrow. And look it, she looks kind of afraid of him. Aren't you being a bird for Halloween, Kashi asked. Yeah, but I'm not afraid, said Yukio. But let's run before it wakes up. <laughs> he's not afraid, but he's not taking any chances, is he? <laughs> How funny is that? Kashi wanted to be a ninja too. She couldn't wait to start Ninja Garden. What is your favorite ninja weapon? Have you met, ever met a samurai? How far can you throw a ninja star? She asked a lot of questions and Yukio needed a break. Oh, look at that tree has pumpkins hanging down from it. Wow, that's a cool idea, right? Hang pumpkins from your tree? I never thought about that. That's a good idea. Kind of like giant uh, ornaments, like Halloween ornaments, huh? Everywhere Yukio went, Kashi followed. When Yukio carved a pumpkin, Kashi carved a similar one. When Yukio mapped his Halloween route, Kashi mapped the same route. It was starting to get on Yukio's nerves. He's like, will you please stop copying me? He's starting to get angry, isn't he? Poor Yukio. At night, Yukio's friends came over dressed for Halloween. Ooh, look at him. Wow, pretty cool outfits. Kashi was excited to show Yukio her costume. <gasps> Ooh, what is Kashi's costume? Let's find out. I'm an injured bird too, Kashi said. Ka, ka, kia. <laughs> Yukio's friends laughed at the matching costumes. Oh, Yukio's super embarrassed right now, isn't he? He's like, Kashi, arr, you're embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> Yukio does not like that at all, does he? Yukio's feathers were ruffled. He was tired of Kashi copying him. Let's go trick or treating, Yuki. He couldn't take it anymore. You're not a real ninja. And you never will be. <gasps> oh no, look at, he made her kind of sad by saying that. Oh, I know he was upset, but that was rather mean to say though. Not very nice at all. It's kind of sad. Now suddenly the story's taking a sad turn. Oh no. Ouch, too far, dude. Arg, that'd be harsh, Yukio. There she goes. Oh yes, even his friends didn't agree that it was a nice thing to do. They all thought it was a bad thing to do. And look at, Kashi ran away because she was, she was scared and upset and sad by that. Yukio, that was so mean. Oh, that's terrible. Yukio tried to apologize, but for the first time, Kashi didn't want to be with him. Into the night went Yukio and his friends. Oh, look at, they're running down the hill to go trick or treating, but look at, look at the look on, on Yukio's face. He looks very sad about the whole situation. He's not happy at all, is he? No, no, not at all. Ninjas trick-or-treated all across the land, from Ninja Village to the farm district, past the Whispering Woods to where they filled their buckets in Big Town. Wow, they're doing a good job, huh? Getting lots and lots of candy. Cool. I wonder if, because uh, they're in a Japanese village, I wonder if they get those candies that have like those, the rice paper wrapping on it, you can eat the paper. You ever had those before? They're pretty cool, they have like a, kind of a gummy center, but the outside of it's like wrapped in this clear paper and you can eat the paper, like mm, melt in your mouth. It's really good. I love those candies. With buckets full, and ninjas headed for home. Crack! <gasps> ninjas heard a noise. 
What was that noise? Kind of scary, huh? You ever notice that all the scary noises happen on Halloween night? Is that just a coincidence? Maybe not. Maybe it's a ghost! Or a zombie seeking brains! Or a hungry werewolf! <gasps> but it was much worse! Yukio looked up and saw! <gasps> what did he see? Will we ever know? We can't see it. Let's turn the page and find out. Samurai Scarecrow! <gasps> Ninjas ran for their lives! Ah! Samurai Scarecrow! The worst of all the monsters! Oh no! Run, Yukio, run! You're a bird! It'll eat you up for sure! Show me the birds no longer afraid! The feathered fools who won't flee! Find me the birds who think I'm decayed! I'll teach them to be scared of me! Oh, and he was scared of him too, wasn't he, Yukio? Yukio was like, No! Please don't eat me! No! Oh, poor Yukio! Uh-oh, what's going to happen to him now? Wait! I'm not a bird! I'm just a little boy! Then give me those pumpkins, little boy! Here, t -t take mine! I want both pumpkins! No! This one is for Kashi! Well, suddenly Yukio is being brave now because he's defending the candy for his little sister. Ah, he's not such a bad guy after all, is he? The scarecrow moved closer. A shadowy hand reached out, creeping closer and closer. Ah! Look at Yukio closing his eyes like, no, this is it. This is the end. Ah! What's going to happen? Boop! <gasps> Yukio! Scarecrow tapped Yukio on the nose and said, boop, and then called his name. What's going on here? Kashi? Trick or treat, Yuki! Oh, it was Kashi the whole time. Silly Kashi tricking her brother like that. My sister is a scarecrow? That is so ninja! Oh, He's not mad. He thinks it's really cool, huh? She tricked him. She is a true ninja after all, huh? Yukio wants you to be a scarecrow too. He couldn't wait for next Halloween. Does the pumpkin sit on top of your head? Did you use stilts for legs? How did you make your voice so creepy? He asked a lot of questions, but Kashi didn't mind. See, remember first earlier, earlier in the book, she was asking him all the questions. Now he's asking her all the questions. The roles have reversed. And she doesn't mind at all, huh? She's not like him. She's not upset about it. She's happy that, that he's hanging out with her. How about that? That was a very cool Halloween story. I loved it. And it's written by Ruben Pink. And I guess he must be the illustrator too. Wow. Very, very cool. A super, super ninja Halloween story. That's my first ever ninja Halloween story. I never read a ninja Halloween story before. Very cool. I hope you liked it. I loved it. And remember, I have more spooky and scary and fun Halloween stories just for you all this month. Every day of Halloween month, October, 31 different stories, one for every day and night. That's right, spooky and fun. So check them out. Look for me on YouTube and look up Explore Halloween because that's where you'll find them. So what do I say to you now? Bye-bye-bye!